believe his name was Baker Mayfield. Yes. And it was going to be Kyler Murray too, right? I believe so. Um, and there was another transfer that they benefited from uh, out of conference, Jalen Hurts. And this is something that Lincoln Riley, I think, it needs to be addressed by the Big 12 and the NCAA because in 2019, he tried to do the same thing when Austin Kendall, his quarterback, who patiently sat behind Baker Mayfield, patiently sat behind Kyler Murray, thinking that his chance was coming. And then Lincoln Riley goes out and gets Jalen Hurts. So he decides that Austin Kendall wants to transfer to West Virginia. Well, at first, Lincoln Riley says, no, we're not, we're going to weigh our options. It shouldn't even be an option. No. If not. you're allowed to go out and replace this player with three different times, yeah. then it should be an easy decision to stamp it and say, hey, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your work. You're a great young man. We wish you the best of success. Yeah, by the way, I have to correct myself. I keep forgetting Texas a it was the SEC. So, the, well, Baker Mayfield transferred from Texas Tech to Oklahoma in the conference. The Kyler yeah, yes, Murray went yes. from the SEC to the Big 12. Correct. It's just it's still another transfer that, yeah. you know, and, and Lincoln Riley just continues to have this issue where, you know, in the Big 10, we've seen different, you know, players transfer um, and not get blocked. Right. Um, you know, I just was watching on the NFL Network, Benjamin St. Juice is, uh, you know, preparing for the NFL draft. He obviously started in Michigan, finished his career at the University of Minnesota. There are a number of stories like that. Jonah Jackson and the Lions. Started yes. at Rutgers, went to Ohio State. And, and, and you know what? It, we are, we can't continue to do things. The business of the NCAA can't continue to do things in so many different ways simply because this is the way it's always been. We have, they have to continue to uh, you know, modify their business model. They have to continue to adjust to recruiting, to today's athlete, to today's economics. And it just, the old model doesn't work. Our telephone number, 248-539-9797, coming up after Tio's update. My mock draft, 1.0. John has no idea what this looks like either. He's so reading about it all night. We're going to get his reaction live, 97.1, the ticket. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. An Odyssey station. Sports headlines all day, every day. From the Sold by YMC Sports Desk. This is 97.1 The Ticket. This update is sponsored by Mother Waddles. Let's start with the Pistons who would crush the Washington Wizards 120 to 91 last night at Little Caesars Arena. Josh Jackson at 31 points to lead a balanced offensive attack. Let's see seven Pistons players reach double figures. Our teammates, you know, they saw, and I, I hit a few shots in the row, and, and typically when guys do that, uh, they try to go to them and, and get them open. And that's what they did tonight. You know, they did a, a good job of finding me when I was open, a good job setting screens off the ball to get me open. So it, it made it really easy for me. Also posting a win yesterday, the Tigers, who would knock off the Cleveland Indians 3-2 to two on opening day at Comerica Park. Jacoby Jones' RBI double in the bottom of the second inning allowed Victor Reyes to score what turned out to be the game-winning run for the Tigers. The Red Wings would lose for the fifth time in their last seven outings as they fall to the Florida Panthers in overtime last night, 3-2. According to stories out of Los Angeles, former Lion Matthew Stafford had surgery on his right thumb last month to repair ligament damage he suffered near the end of the 2020 season. Despite the procedure, Stafford should be ready to go for the Los Angeles Rams when they begin off-season workouts later this month. MMA fighter Hitag Kiev remains in a Philadelphia hospital this morning after his left ring finger was accidentally torn off of his hand during a bout that took place last night. Despite the injury, Kliev actually wanted to continue fighting. He didn't leave the ring and head to the hospital until he was told to by the event's promoter after the bout had been stopped. At the Ticket Update Desk, I'm Tony Ortiz. For more, stay tuned to 971 The Ticket and Odyssey.com. The NFL Draft, less than four weeks away. It's time for the Mike Stone Mock Draft. One point. Oh, this is the fourth year we're doing this. Uh, we'll have two more uh, of these mock drafts. So uh, don't etch this in stone, so to speak. Because it's always a work in progress. All right. We start with the Jacksonville Jaguars. As expected, Trevor Lawrence, quarterback, Clemson. 
Now the New York Jets, they have Sam Darnold, they have Halls, but they fall in love with Zach Wilson, the quarterback from Brooklyn. Now the San Francisco 49ers, they trade up. I'm not really sure which guy they really, really want. There's a lot of smoke being uh, told here. I can't believe that they would trade up to take Mac Jones. But I do believe they would trade up to take Justin Fields. Justin Fields goes to the San Francisco 49ers. Wow, the, big, uh, the, the first big decision. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up in four, will it be four quarterbacks in a row? The Atlanta Falcons on the clock. They already have a guy named Julio Jones. Matt Ryan is in a really autumn of his career to be kind. They call this man the unicorn. They can't pass up. Tight end slash wide receiver, Kyle Pitts. Oh, he's off the board. He's off the board. Top five. Okay, here we go. Fifth pick, the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals definitely want to keep Joe Burrow healthy. Joe Burrow wants to be healthy, but he also has friends in other places where he wants to school. His influence will not be warranted or given permission to accept, so to speak. Anyway, that's a horrible way to phrase that. The Cincinnati Bengals, yeah, Cincinnati Bengals think Penny Sewell offensive tackle for Mark. So uh, what you were saying was he wanted uh, he wanted Jamar Chase, wanted Chase. and uh, in doing so, will, will, should we expect that Joe Burrow will be demanding a trade soon? No, 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 okay. he, he is no Russell Wilson. Uh, but Jamar Chase, he's happy because he stays down south. The Miami Dolphins will select Jamar Chase. Ooh. So here we are at number seven for the Detroit Lions. I don't think the uh, populace of Detroit is going to like this. I don't think everybody loves quarterbacks that they need. Uh, some people don't believe you should take wide receivers very high. The Detroit Lions go to build up their trenches and select a little early for my taste, but maybe not for theirs because I have them selecting versatile offensive lineman Rashawn Slater from the Northwest. You're going uh, outside the box. A little outside the box for a map draft one. He can, yes. he can play any position. I mean, some people have him as a center. Obviously, the Lions don't need him as a center. But no, he can play. And you, you need he help on that. Have a backup center. You need him on that right. They need help on the right side of the line. Mm -hmm. All right, the Carolina Panthers say, thank you very much, Brad Holmes. We'll just take Trey Lance. Uh, the Denver Broncos are next. John Oway, he's not in charge anymore. Well, at least he's not the GM. We'll take Mac Jones, quarterback, Alabama. The Dallas Cowboys, they need defense in a worse way, don't they? They do. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have former Michigan uh, Wolverine Jordan Lewis that they re-upped in the secondary. They get him some help. Patrick Sutain the second from right. Alabama. They go on the uh, back end of things. Mm -hmm. The New York football giants, look, they, they're an offensive juggernaut if they only had a really good quarterback. Their offensive line's not great, but their defense is not good at all. So they select linebacker Micah Parsons. Pennsylvania State Warriors. Well, we stand on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, last year, they passed up Justin Jefferson for another wide receiver, uh, Rager from uh, TCU. They will not pass up a wide receiver this time. The question is, which member of the Crimson Tide do they take? The Eagles go with Jalen Waddle. The Los Angeles Chargers with a young quarterback. They want to give him some weapons. But they also want to make sure he doesn't get the crap kicked out of him. The Chargers stay in town and take USC offensive tackle Elijah Vera Tucker. Wow. The Minnesota Vikings are next. Uh, the Vikings lost um, one of their offensive linemen. His name is Riley Reef. He went to Cincinnati. The Vikings drafting for need. They need an offensive lineman. They take Christian Darisaw from Virginia Tech. The New England Patriots are next. And this is very interesting because the Patriots and, you know, in free agency, one with the uh, multiple tight ends, with, the, you know, mm -hmm. the guys that they sign, they still need wide receiver help, don't they, John? They do. Uh, Bill Belichick has a pretty good relationship with Nick Saban. It's not the Patriot way, so to speak, all the time. And they haven't had a lot of success at this position, really. But they say, give me the Heisman. They take Devontae Smith, who drops the 15. The Arizona Cardinals are next. Patrick Peterson.
Peterson, who signed with the Vikings. They need the defensive back. They take the speedy J.C. Warren from South Carolina. Next up is the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders, John, always a wild card. You never know what the hell they're going to do. But I do know this. Their defense blows. They need playmakers. And this might be a little early for him, as I've seen other mock drafts. But May Mike Mayock and John Green, they don't care about other mock drafts. They'll take Tulsa linebacker Xavier Collins. The Miami Dolphins are on the clock again. They're just building players. They just want players. And they want to get to the quarterback. And with uh, that pick, they check the box of Michigan defensive end, Woody Penn. Oh, the ball down there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ross. Yes. Uh, John, your four former team, now known as the Washington football team, they have a great defense. Mm -hmm. They could use a quarterback, but all the good ones are pretty much gone in the first round. They can use an offensive lineman to protect Fitzmagic. They go with offensive tackle Seven Jenkins from Oklahoma State. The Chicago Bears, well, you talk about a team that they don't know what the hell they're doing. But they did lose their cornerback, Fuller, to free agency. Is that correct, John? They did. So they went to the same college as Fuller and the same first initial of his last name. The Bears said... Caleb Farley, defensive back from Virginia Tech. That's a good pick. Thank you. Ryan Pace says, thank you, I know. <laughs> uh, the Indianapolis Colts are next. They need defense in the worst way. Because their offensive line is really good. Mm -hmm. They do go on the edge. Yes, they do. And they go down south to the U and take Gregory Russo, defensive end from Miami. Well done. The Tennessee Titans. They, uh, they're upset. They thought they should have done better this year. They lost one of their really good players in the secondary, Adoree Jackson. Mm -hmm. So they're going to draft for need. They stay in the Big Ten and go with Greg Newsom the second, the defensive back from Northwestern. <coughs> go Cats. Go Cats. Uh, the New York Jets back on the clock. They're going to go for the best athlete they believe in available, especially on the defensive side of the ball. They select from the Georgia Bulldogs, the defensive end, Aziz Ojolari. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Steel built in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh likes toughness. They'll get some toughness. They bulk up their offensive line because they got to protect the aging Ben Roethlisberger. The Steelers take Alex Leatherwood, offensive tackle Alabama. All right. uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Urban Meyer was never conventional as a college coach, was he? <laughs> no, he was not. He has Trevor Lawrence as a quarterback. He loved, he loved having a guy named Percy Harvin when he was in Florida. He believes that Purdue wide receiver Rondell Moore will be his Percy Harvin. And he takes Rondell Moore. In the first round. In the first, first round. round. Yes, there are some people that believe that the other wide receiver named Moore should go in the first round.
than a starter that can move around to different positions. Rashawn Slater could be that guy. Very versatile. Speaking of versatile, she can work at home, she can work here, she can work at Martha Clark, she's Heather. Thank you, Stoney. That is so true. Yes. Work anywhere. Right? Yes, you can. Yes. Um, do you remember the man who tried to go naked swimming in Kendall Jenner's pool? Yes. We talked about him this week. Well, he also had his eyes or his sights set on Kylie Jenner as well because it turns out right after he was released from jail because he was arrested for trying to go swimming, he showed up at Kylie's home. So he's got a thing for the Jenner sisters and he was arrested again for felony stalking. And now both of the Jenners have filed a restraining order against this group. Mm-hmm. Rightfully so. Good. Because, I mean, that's got to be terrifying. Yes. You know, like, that that's... When you become such a major celebrity like that, obviously there's a lot of people that, that are um, obsessed, become obsessed with you, right? And then, mm-hmm. then the fact that they actually show up at your home and that's, it's got to be terrifying. So she's probably going to have to up her security as well. Okay, so most companies skipped their traditional April Fool's jokes last year, and it was because of the pandemic. But this year, there were quite a few. A lot of companies got involved. Velveeta, they made an ad for a fake skincare line um, with products made out of liquid cheese. Of course, that was fake. Outback Steakhouse said that they were going to get to the beauty game as well and release some lipstick, all with different colors um, of, like, the different cooking temperatures for steaks. Does it taste like steak? <laughs> oh, not that. My wife See, might get that in Easter basket. Maybe they could sell that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blo- it tastes like blooming onions. <laughs> uh, uh, that, 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 I don't know. Does those, the smell of that, though, to always have, like, the smell of onion right under your nose? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with the, uh, the cheese steak. fries. The steak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the cheese fries, yeah. sure. Cheese fries, Lego. Um, everyone seems to really love this prank. Made this ad for something called Smart Bricks, where basically these little Lego pieces would move out of the way as you're walking so that you never have to step on them. That would be a billion dollar idea. Right? Or if they would just like instantly turn to mush and like you don't feel how hard it is to step on them. Um, People seem to love that one. Bud Light, they jokingly announced some new pizza flavored seltzers, uh, which, you know, could be okay. This one sounds disgusting. Green Giant and Peeps. They teamed up to announce cauliflower flavored peeps. Oh, nasty. No, I thought you were going to go with peas, like pee peeps. Oh, gosh. Well, that would be nasty, yeah. too. They'd probably be worse than the cauliflower flavor. Not for me. I'm going to have peas. Oh, I hate peas. Um, Duolingo created a toilet paper that also teaches you a foreign language. <laughs> you know, that's kind of time interesting. In yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then Jif made an exfoliating face mask made out of peanut butter. They were obviously all jokes. And then one of the big things we all wanted to know was about Michael Strahan. Was he really pulling an April Fool's joke, which is what we all thought. And you guys, that's what happened. He did not actually close his famous tooth gap. He posted this video on his Instagram yesterday, yesterday kind of confirming what we all thought was true. Do what makes you happy because I did, and I am happy um, that, that I did. So I just wanted to say, April Fool's, come on, man. The gap is here to stay for a little while. Not going anywhere anytime soon, so... April Fool's, everybody. I had a good time. I actually feel bad. I feel really bad about actually not closing it after everything that I saw. But the gap is here. The gap is not going anywhere for a while. My mama likes it, so there you go. Any mama. So, he, he screwed it up. He should have just done it once and then people say, oh my God, then it, it's April Fool's. Because mm-hmm. yeah. he, he thought it, it, went, it went on too long. He started it too soon. Yeah, I mean, everybody just, knew just, what it was. Up, yeah. Jason, I'm sorry your services are no longer required. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. 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 Didn't care. <laughs> I think you should keep the dental piece and just kind of like switch up his look every now and then. Sure. You know? In there. That's what I said. Like, you know? have, you know, no gap on, on Good Morning America. Yeah. A gap during uh, his NFL stuff. Look like a football yeah, I player. I like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, so the Michigan Health Department confirmed the first case of the Brazil COVID variant.